He is my best batsman. He is one of the best batsmen in the world. He is one of the best batsmen. I love watching him bat. The Indian T20 League season has come to a close and what a season it has been. The Chennai boys are back on top after another historic season. Four-time champions now, the men in yellow. And it was a grand finale from Dhoni and his men. But we're here to talk about the Indian T20 League Awards powered by Sportskeeda. We've got Nick Knight joining us to bring it to you. Nick, welcome to the show. Plenty to talk about as well. But let's start with your most valuable player of this Indian T20 League season. Gosh, I, do you know what? I've been sweating over this because it's such a tough call. But I've gone, I've tried, I've tried to highlight valuable. And so therefore I'm looking at value on the pitch and I'm looking at value off the pitch. So I'm looking at more experienced players. I mean, the guy I've gone with is Fafti Plessis. I could have gone with a number of players, obviously. The reason I've gone with him, um, not just on the pitch, the numbers. I mean, I think he was two runs shy of Rutherosh Gaikwad in terms of the orange uh, cap. So, so clearly he's made a massive contribution on the pitch. Um, but you look at where they've come from, from last year to this year. And I personally, I'm looking at some of the senior players and the contribution that they've made helping some of the younger players and the way they performed on the pitch. Of course, that is absolutely essential. But with the overall package and the fact that they've won the contest, I'm going to go Faf de Plessis. He's my number one. That is a great call. We've talked about the experience of Faf de Plessis and what he's brought to that Chennai outfit. But now let's move to the exuberance of youth, perhaps. Who's your emerging player of the tournament? Emerging player, so we're looking at rookie, aren't we? We're looking at someone that's made an instant impact. And, and this was the easiest one for me to come up with, Venkatesh Iyer. I mean, I was there in that first game in Abu Dhabi where they rolled over RCB. I think it was something like 92. Chakravarti picked up three wickets and Venkatesh Iyer just went out as if he was Brendan McCullum, as if Owen Morgan and Brendan McCullum coach said, yeah, just go and play like me. And he, he's done exactly that. And I think actually I interviewed Brendan and I said to him about Venkatesh Iyer, and he said there will be some inconsistencies the way he played. Actually, there haven't really been any inconsistencies because he's put together a game plan that's worked throughout the remainder of the tournament. If you're looking, I think they won seven out of ten games in, in Dubai yeah. in the second phase. If you're looking at one reason, a catalyst, you can't really look much further than his contribution at the top. Not only has he played well, but I think he's unlocked a little bit for Shubman Gill. Shubman Gill has relaxed a little bit at the other end. We've seen much better results from Shubman, who I think is going to be a superstar of the game, let alone for India. So I think that combination has really helped. Venkatesh Iyer is going to be a star of the game, in my opinion. Let's move along now to the most improved player, you think, from last season or from seasons gone by into this 2021 Indian T20 League season. Cool. I've been sweating over this one as well, but I've gone with Rutraj Gaikwad. Again, he could be part of every single award that we give out tonight because he's done terrifically well. I've gone with him because I've, you know, I mean, worked on the IP. I looked at his numbers, I looked at his stats. Where he's really improved for me is against Spin. Um, and that showed a bit in the final, the way that he, he, he took on Shaqib. I like the way he approaches strike rate. has gone up to something like 160 now. His general strike rate has gone up. So against the quicks, it's gone up, but against the spinners, it's gone up. Um, so he's learned quickly. Um, his relationship with Faf de Plessis and the way that Faf has often been the aggressor. Now, now it turned, it's flipped it on a head a little bit, didn't it, in the final because yeah. Gaikwad went out quicker. But generally, when you look at the tournament as a whole, you would say that Faf just took a little bit of pressure off Rutaraj so he could perhaps establish himself in the innings. You think of that brilliant 100 he scored in Abu Dhabi. He had 30 off 29 balls and, and then he accelerated. So I think Rutaraj is my most improved because of that. But I think he has a lot to thank Faf for, who's my most valuable player. So I think that combination has worked really nice. We're going to put you on the spot again. Nick Knight, a little bit harder for Nick Knight, who's coming at us with the answers. Who's your best bowler of the tournament? Okay, so best bowler. I mean, you look at the numbers, the stats, and you say Harshal. I mean, Harshal has been absolutely terrific. I, I mean, the way he's bowled, the way he's bowled his cutters into the pitch, the way he's consistently picked up wickets throughout the tournament. I'm not going to go that route. I am going to go with a player who I think has had a, a major contribution to a team on the up, on the rise. And we're talking about KKR, and I'm going to go Varun Chakravarti. I love watching him bowl. I think what he does well is he's really flexible. I mean, Morgan is the master captain. Him and Dhoni in that final, in that whole IPL, for me, have been the two standout captains. But I think what Morgan's asked of him is sometimes I'm going to bowl you in, in, in the power play. Sometimes I'm going to not bowl you in the power play. I'm going to bowl you in the middle. Sometimes, by the way, I'm going to bowl you right at the end. 
And what I love about Chakravarti is he comes up with the answers. He doesn't panic. You, you, you listen to a lot of cricketers. They say, I have a role to play in a team and I do it well. He has all sorts of different roles in the team and he does it always so well. I love I think he's going to be a terrific cricketer. I think he's emerging as a terrific cricketer and I love watching him bowl. He's going to be a star. He's going to be an absolute star. I can't wait to watch him in the World Cup as well. But our final award of today, Nick, you've got to go with the best batter. Who have you got for us? Well, I mean, I've probably mentioned half of the players. I mean, Guy Quad, the way he's played, Faf, and you talk about Shubman Gill, who I think is going to be a star. You talk about Venkatesh. But I'm going to go with a player I love watching. I love watching in any format of the game, let alone the IPL, let alone T20. And that player is KL Rahul. I think he's unbelievably good. Now, I, I would call him the complete batsman. And what I mean by that is the complete batsman, not only in this format, test match cricket, watching him in the recent series against England. He's got all bases covered. He can play the game situation perfectly. He, he got the best off drive, one of the best off drives in the game. We know that. He plays it when it's full, he hits it back straight. He's got the shot. He's got all the shots. But what I think I love about KL Rahul, he puts the shots in the right order more so than most batsmen that I watch. Certainly in this format of the game, T20, which is hard to do that because you're thinking about playing a shot ball and you're thinking about trying to clear the boundary so often. He finds the right way of constructing innings. Sometimes he'll start slowly. He'll read and assess the conditions of the pitch. Often he put his side in a strong position. His side weren't good enough in this tournament to be able to get those winning positions and get over the line consistently enough. But that wasn't the fault of KL Rahul because he did his part at the top of the order with Mayang, but in particular KL, to get his side in a strong position. He is my best batsman. He is one of the best batsmen in the world. He is one of the best batsmen. I love watching him bat. Nick, thank you so much for joining us here on Sports Leader's Indian T20 League Awards. Great award selections from you as well, and we'll see you really soon. And we'll see all of you real soon as well. Plenty of great content coming your way. But for now, this is Suhail Chandok signing off. Thanks so much for joining us.